Welcome back. We get to check in with Ellen and Brady of Rebellionville. Welcome back, guys. Hey, thank you for having us. Of Thursday's course. our favorite day. Ours, too. And we're learning more about Creole Culture Day. It's coming up. Yes, it is. It is coming up on June 9th, which is a Sunday. Mm -hmm. And it is our free festival that celebrates everything Creole, all the contributions that this lovely culture has made to our lifestyle now. Yeah. Well, and that's really true. And, and I think it's especially true because, you know, like a lot of times when people talk about the great music that we have mm -hmm. here, and we talk about the great food that we have here, yeah. so much of that is traditions and history that came up out of Africa and through the islands and then came to place here in, in Acadiana. And so it's a great day just to focus on that and mm -hmm. really acknowledge all of that rich culture and tradition that the Creole people brought to this area. Yeah. What are some of the things that people can find when they come on Sunday? All kinds of wonderful stuff. We've got history. We have uh, a documentary that we're going to be mm -hmm. showing. We have food. We have music. We have art. We have genealogy. You can oh. come and kind of look up right. your yeah. family. Or Which is something that, that we started doing at these events maybe like three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's always been great because it gives people a chance to sort of start that journey back yeah. and sort of discover that family and cultural journey for themselves. And so that's super exciting. But yeah, we've got some great uh, cooking demonstrations. Um, Reverend Cluse is going to be doing fried okra, and Madonna Broussard, who is the owner of Laura's 2, is going to be doing rice dressing in the afternoon. And so there's just so much super exciting yeah. stuff. Yeah. We've got to have great food, great music, great dancing, and it's just a wonderful time to come. And of course, the Richard J. Catalan uh, Cultural Heritage Preservation Award, which is something that the Catalan family and Creole Link and the Bayou Vermilion District give out to a nominated person who has been selected through a pretty rigorous sort of assessment for yeah. being someone who is working to continue that history and tradition, you know, moving into forward generations. I love that you guys have this day. We're almost out of time. How can people learn more? They can follow us on Facebook or they can look us up, vermilionville.org, and come to our free festival. Go visit them. If you haven't been to Creole Culture Day, you're missing out on a lot. If you want to learn more, head to our website, kdn.com. Let's check in with Adam Olivier.